Hello everybody, Crow here, and this is a video response to Sinister Moon's video game related t-shirt tag. Now I felt that I had to do this tag because I had so many video game related t-shirts. And in fact I had no idea just how many until I went and I just pulled out all the t-shirts I had, did my laundry and kind of sorted through them all. And I have quite a few. So, Mr. Sinister Moon, if that is your real name, you asked for it, you're going to get it. These are my all my video game related t-shirts. So we're going to start out, we got a Angry Birds t-shirt. This is what awesome looks like. Uh, let me add that my wife actually bought most of these shirts, but I did say, you know, that most of these, yeah, that's cool enough, get it for me uh, for the most part. So yes, we got an Angry Birds t-shirt. This is what awesome looks like. Next, we got a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 t-shirt. I don't think there's anything on the back of that one. Here's a Pac-Man Epic Fail t-shirt. Now, I know, I actually, uh, going through these, I think I have multiples of some of these, so you may see some of the same shirts twice. I may have this one twice, but I, 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 I may or may not, I don't remember if I saw this one twice, but I knew I have some other ones twice. Uh, so, yes, Pac-Man Epic Fail. Got a Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt with Sonic and Tails on there. Got another Marvel vs. Capcom three t-shirt fate of two worlds uh nothing on that one uh trust me i'm a ninja this is actually a fruit ninja t-shirt uh so yeah got know your power with different mario power-ups to get the flower the mushrooms and the star got a minecraft creeper t-shirt this is actually quite a comfortable shirt so i've been wearing this uh it's actually a fairly new shirt i think i got this about a month or so ago uh, really old shirt I've had for quite some time. It's a sack boy. It says OG original gamer in a little big planet shirt. Uh, this actually came from um, Worth Your Universe HD. He actually made this shirt. Now, I don't know how well you can tell. I'm not going to be able to zoom or anything in the mode I have the camera in. But the, these are a bunch of different YouTubers. Like there's Luke Morse one. There's Gamester81. Uh, Yeth Boss is even on there. Uh, I'm even on there. And there's uh, Worth Your Universe HD. Um, this All the proceeds to this t-shirt went to the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's. Uh, so yeah, this was all Worth Your Universe's uh, brainchild. I don't know if you can still buy this shirt or not, actually. Because this I bought this like a year or so ago. Um, and this is, let me bring this up, this is actually a Talking Classics t-shirt uh, with Keith Apicary. And we got an Atari t-shirt uh so the atari logo is actually made up of smaller atari logos a kingdom hearts t-shirt uh let's see how what yeah i think you can see that pretty well there here's a legend of zelda t-shirt you got a red link so he must have completed the first quest once uh he's found the tri triforce right there um atari uh, with the Atari in Japanese. I think Sinister Moon actually had this shirt as well. This is actually one of my favorite shirts. We got a um, Blinky, Ghost from Pac-Man, listening to some music. Here's uh, Blinky again. You know, just big red t-shirt. Um, uh, Invincibility Star t-shirt. Really nothing more to it than that. A uh, combination of Portal and Doctor Who. This is the Portal Who t-shirt. So I, I thought that was really awesome. And it uh, it really confuses some people if they don't know what either one of these things is. <laughs> uh, big Kirby t-shirt. And a blue, big blue Kirby. <laughs> Got the uh, Pac-Man maze on a t-shirt. Here's a Sonic t-shirt. He's uh, got a neon blue look to him donkey kong t-shirt really nothing more you can say about that yeah a super mario t-shirt with a lot of the characters there i don't know why donkey kong's there he's not really doesn't really show up that much i guess it could be like a mario party type t-shirt i guess got sonic the hedgehog again i like this one this is uh a Game of Vision uh, t-shirt. This is from the show Code Monkeys, which was actually really, really quite humorous. Uh, so, Game of Vision. Uh, Epic Fail. Yes, I, we've seen this one already. 
just plain old Nintendo t-shirt. I like how, how simple this one is, and I, I wear this one occasionally. Uh, awesome Altered Beast t-shirt. Really, this is pretty, you know, just really awesome. <laughs> Not much more you can say about that. Just awesome. Uh, Game Over t-shirt with dry bones. You got a Pac-Man shirt. I actually think this came with a, uh, a set of sleep pants. But this is the t-shirt that went with the sleep pants. Uh, look, Mame t-shirt. Mame K actually gave me this shirt maybe about a year or so ago. Probably over a year ago. I've worn it quite a bit. It is getting a little bit worn out. But I still wear this thing. Also, check out Mame Cave's channel. He's, he's got an awesome channel. And he's on uh, Hit Reset Radio. So check that out as well. The podcast. Just a uh, plain old Nintendo controller on a t-shirt. Got a Portal 2 t-shirt here. Shinobi t-shirt. Awesome. Almost as awesome as the Altered Beast t-shirt, but I happen to like the Altered Beast t-shirt a little bit more. I uh, got a Man at Work t-shirt. You see he's uh, working on some video game right there. Uh, Mario t-shirt. Uh, where You got all the, the characters kind of in that black and blue, but Mario is the only one cool enough to be in color. Oh, Konami Track and Field t-shirt. I'm the bomb from uh, Mario Brothers. And uh, just plain old Goomba. The Goomba shirt. Nintendo controller t-shirt, of course. Mortal Kombat t-shirts. I actually like how subtle this one is, and I actually wear this one a lot, too. Uh, plain old Galaga t-shirt, actually. Is it my... Raise that up a little bit. Yeah, you can see. So it's like a screenshot, but put on... You're replacing the blue, black background with a uh, blue t-shirt kind of overlay. Kind of faded. I kind of like the way it looks. <clears throat> Mario t-shirt again. So many of these things. You'd be surprised. If you went to Kohl's or anything, you'd see... Just how many of them there are. Uh, can't sleep. Ghosts will eat me. I have a feeling they got that from The Simpsons. Uh, although in Simpsons it was can't, slap, can't sleep. Clown will eat me. But now the ghosts will eat you. Actually, it's what Pac-Man probably thinks. Pretty cool Mario t-shirt with uh, Tanuki Mario, a Frog Mario, and a Raccoon Mario from Mario 3. Uh, plain old Bullet Bill t-shirt. Nothing on the back. I don't think there's hardly anything on the back of any of these. Awesome Pitfall t-shirt. Uh, I was walking around Walt Disney World last uh, December with this t-shirt. I got got stopped so many times. Hey, nice shirt. Awesome Pitfall. Remember that? You just hear people talking like that in the back. In the, just in the background when you walk around wearing something like that. Uh, Pikachu Pokemon t-shirt. Nintendo World Championship 1990. I, I think that's taken from the cartridge. Um, I can't remember if that's exactly the image that was on the cartridge. Probably not. I think it's it was this, and they just added some characters around it for some reason. Let um, me lift that up a little bit. You can see a little bit better. I work out every day. Oh, uh, with a Wii remote. I know this one came from either J.C. Penny or Coles or something like that. Homeschool. We got uh, five NES cartridges on here. Excite Bike, Mario Brothers. Zelda, Ice Climbers, and Donkey Kong. All classics on the NES. Just a Nintendo controller. It says Addict. <laughs> Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City shirt. Don't think there's anything on the back of that. There's a Pac-Man shirt with some uh, images in the Pac-Man himself. Atari Entertainment Technologies. I know Sinister Moon has this shirt as well. And I agree with him. It's an awesome shirt. And I wear this one uh, every so often. And mine is actually starting to fade. Activision shirt. I actually like this. It's the old Activision logo. And I actually wear this one quite a bit as well. Uh, choose your fighter from Mortal Kombat. Uh, King Pig from Angry Birds. Uh, just another Mario shirt. Let me adjust the camera a bit. I'm getting a little bit lower, and uh, <laughs> there we go. And we got to change our perspective a little bit. How did you get to the Midwest Gaming Classic? By foot? By car? By plane? Uh, I went by car, actually, and that's where I got this shirt from. <laughs> a golden axe shirt. Kind of awesome. I got this at the same time as the Shinobi one and the Altered Beast one. 
out of the three, this one is by far the worst. And it's because ugh, these they, they put like it's like they pulled these images out of the screenshot and then blew them up. I don't know how well this is actually going to show on camera, but they're actually all blurry on this T-shirt. And it's just a, a random hodgepodge assortment. Of, so it's kind of a cool, still kind of a cool shirt, but still, somebody didn't really spend a lot of time working on this one. I feel. Uh, Street Fighter shirt. I think this is the shirt I'm actually wearing in my current batch of Crow Plays videos. Ah, Pac-Man in Japanese shirt. Um, I think Sinister Moon had this one as well. Somebody did. Uh, Pac-Man. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, I'm going to grab another one. There we go. Ah, for the win. <sighs> I don't know. It didn't seem like somebody put too much effort. It's like, oh, we need a Mario shirt. We'll just put three of stuff in a row and put four of the win on her. Yeah, really not a whole lot of imagination went into this shirt. Ah, Diablo 3 shirt. I actually got this for... I didn't get it because I'm a big fan of Diablo 3. This is a really comfortable shirt, though, and I think it's because it's a 2XL. Yeah, really loose on me. I really like the way it feels. But, um... Um... Yeah, my wife got it for me. It was on sale, and you know, I I liked. I, you know, I was thinking about getting Diablo three, and never I never played any of the other Diablo, Diablos, and I still haven't played any of the Diablos. I'm still trying to find a copy of Diablo one at Goodwill, believe it or not. <laughs> ah, yeah, for good time in Sequoia Galaga. I know Sinister Moon has this shirt. And he made the same comment that I think of. is like, oh, people walking around, oh, where do I insert the corn? Yeah, that's one of the reasons I, I barely don't ever wear this one. Life of the party. One up, extra life mushroom, I guess. Ah, Link from uh, Zelda Spirit Tracks. One of those t-shirts. Awesome Battletoads t-shirt. Uh, another one of these t-shirts where it's like somebody didn't put a lot of effort into it. It's hip to be square. <laughs> really? I mean, if you really played Tetris, you wouldn't you wouldn't have these lines. They'd be gone. I mean, seriously, it's like the person who designed a shirt never played Tetris. Okay, uh, you know, coin slot. It's an awesome shirt. However, it, it, like uh, Sinister Moon might be thinking right now, it says push to reject. I was at my friend's house wearing a shirt. My friend comes walking up to me and starts hitting me in the, in the stomach. And he's like, huh, I'm, I'm rejecting you. <laughs> kind of funny, but um, gets old after a while. <laughs> um, Galaga shirt. It sucks totally. So, yeah, kind of cool. But, again, how would this ever happen? Unless these are the extra guys, I guess. Because, I mean, if you had the double ship... How would one be getting sucked away? It's impossible. Uh, for some reason, a Yoshi shirt that just says boost. I, I don't understand that at all. You got a DJing ghost here. DJing 8-bit Pac-Man ghost. Uh, Mario with raccoon. He's getting a mushroom, which will do him no good, actually, because he's already got the raccoon powers. That mushroom is just going to be worth points. Should be getting coins out of that block, actually. Ah, the get. I think this is just another Galaga shirt. It's the same one we've seen before. Let me move these shirts up a bit. There we go, Donkey Kong. Okay, we got uh, Princess and Mario getting married. Game over. And the reason it says 10 10 10, um, 10 10, yeah, 10 10 10 is because that's actually. These are the shirts we gave away to our um, bridal party. When, when I got married, 10, 10, 10 was our wedding date. So, yes, this is my wedding shirt. <laughs> well, one of them, anyway. Uh, Donkey Kong level. Uh, it's Mario thinking of the princess for some reason. He's happy about it. Finish him. It's a Mortal Kombat shirt. There we go. Just another Mario shirt. All the gang hanging out. And Bowser and his Goombas and Wario all having a good time. Put aside your differences and having a party. <clears throat> very, very bizarre Mario shirt with this awkward red and pink stripe in the background. Very weird. Almost like a video game prison shirt. Uh, Sonic shirt. Now I kind of don't like this one because it's got the it's got these built-in 
things in the sleeves, and I don't like it. I don't like long sleeve shirts, so I never really wear this one. Hey, it's the same shirt we just saw just a few moments ago. There you go. It's a uh, it's a mushroom, but let me lift this one up a little bit closer because you can see the um, there's like uh, different stuff. It's made of different smaller pictures, so it's kind of cool. Uh, Legend of Zelda shirt artwork taken from the first game instruction manual. Oh, it's Mario, and he says down since '85. Sonic and rings. He's losing his rings. Oh no! What are you gonna do now, Sonic? This is a uh, cut to rope T-shirt. Failed because the candy didn't get into his mouth. You bastard! Why don't you get your own candy? Uh, just a Mario. <laughs> this is like this is like if the Mario world were in the Brady Bunch universe, I guess. Oh look again for a good time, Mister Coin. Yep, we've seen this one. Hey, it's a Donkey Kong shirt. Very similar to the other Donkey Kong shirts, but completely different. <clears throat> Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess shirt. Pretty awesome shirt, actually. I like the way this, this one looks. Hey, it's a Mario level. I think this one actually came from Hot Topic when it was on sale. World 4.2. Hey, it's a Frogger shirt. Ooh, I'm creating a mountain of shirts over here, and it's almost fell. Um, so, Frogger. Green linen shirt, chest, three armor, requires level five. This is actually a World of Warcraft shirt, I believe, because it is a Blizzard shirt. Hey, we've seen this one already. The inconsistency of Mario want, uh, wanting a mushroom when he's already got raccoon powers. Ah, this is a very bizarre shirt, and I've ha I have a couple copies of this one. Uh, Mario and Yoshi and lots of Japanese writing. A few people got me this shirt, but I don't really wear it because I don't really look good in the color yellow. Hey, awesome Laser Blast uh, shirt. Now, Laser Blast is probably one of the crappiest Activision games, but this shirt is awesome. Hey, it's another... So this is the third one of these I have, apparently. Hey, it's another Talking Classics uh, t-shirt. It says... <laughs> what does it say? I am Rambo! Yeah, so it's Keith Apicary again. Still gaming related because talking, talking classics, he talks about video games. Hey, a big giant 8 bit Mario from uh, original Super Mario Brothers on a t shirt. Oh, yes, the yellow t shirt. I just explained why I don't wear it. Hey, it's me, Mario, on a light blue shirt. Hey, look at this. I'm a major player. Now, this is a very, 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 very bizarre shirt. Because why the hell are there four buttons on an NES controller? And why the hell are there two sets of start and select buttons on this thing? Somebody made a mistake somewhere, I think. <laughs> hey, it's a poison mushroom from Super the original Super Mario Brothers 2. Game over. And again, I, I just threw this one in here because it says game over. Again, guy's not too happy about the game being over, I guess. Hey, guess what? I almost just knocked my very, very, very balanced microphone. Uh, yeah, I've got it balancing on the tripod. And, uh, if I breathe on it, it'll fall. So i got to be more careful. Uh, get a life, mushroom. Hey, it's another Game Over shirt. Ball and chain. You ain't playing no video games no more, huh? Uh, I threw this one in here because every other... Thing in the perfect day was to play video games, so I thought that was video game related. Oh, pretty cool Legend of Zelda t-shirt here. Uh, can we see this whole thing here? Save the Earth. It's the only planet with video games. As far as we know. A little bit worn uh, Tari shirt on a red background. And... So, this is the last one, apparently. The Contra code, or the Konami code, on a t-shirt. I kind of don't like how big they made it. And the fact that they put Contra at the end, when in fact it works for many games, it is the Konami code. I think that made it pretty bizarre. But that's it. That's the end. And you asked for it, you got a 20-minute video of video game t-shirts. There you go, Sinister Moon. So everyone, if you want to do this tag, check out Sinister Moon's original video. Linked in the description box below. Thanks, everyone, for watching. See you all next time. Bye. Is this going to be a super violent porn cartoon?